I was thinking about this song recently because my producer who was working on my album Bad. couldn't work on my album for a day because he was with Natalie and Brulier. And he also told me that this song is a cover. So this song is really interesting. It's a massive hit, of course, and it's a absolute banger. She recorded it after being on Neighbours and record labels in the US wouldn't take it. Are you serious? So she released it in the UK and of course it was a massive smash hit and then everyone in the US wanted it after that. It was actually released by a band called Edna Swap and one of the members of it was her producer for it, not my producer. Here's a little clip. She kept really close to that original sound. I don't understand why people didn't like this instantly. It's so relatable. It's got like this danceable rhythm. I love that rockiness. Now the melody is kind of interesting because it's based on the pentatonic scale which you hear a lot in Scottish folk but you also hear a lot in blues. It kind of roots it in tradition. Her voice is really interesting because it's so light. Keeping everything light even as she goes lower. Ah, na, 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 this is how I feel. And she's raising her larynx a bit, which again just keeps that bright twangy sound. When she wants to step back, she's adding a lot of breath into that sound. So, I mean, this was a very popular sound around this time, around the 90s and early 2000s. And surrender. Using a lot of those consonants to really pop the sound. This is how She's not putting her vocal cords together or using thick vocal folds. She's making them really, really thin. Lying naked on the floor. Which keeps that light feeling throughout. But to get down to those notes, she then ends up with a breathier tone rather than a heavier tone. It feels very real and natural, her voice as well. She's playing around so much and I'm really enjoying it. And like, light, using the diphthong of the sound to change the vowels, so nothing's fine. That's not even the note. Nothing slide out on for that little slide. Sometimes she's doing things like pushing the breath through at the end. The way she gets off notes, it's different every time because she's being really playful and kind of rocky with it. 
Here you go. Hey! A little slide off that one. Let's see what she does in the next one. That's a kind of standard feel. No vibrato. Floor. That one, she does go to that deeper, heavier place and gives it a little bit more oomph. A cry and a little bit of a uh, creak or vocal fry. Hearing that thanks to the end was interesting as well because her speaking voice placement is really similar to her singing placement which gives it a really really natural feel. Before you go, I'd love if you would go and check out my album. It's available on my website. Three of the songs are here on YouTube and on Spotify. I'll put some links around and I will see you in the next one. Bye!